Hello, this is Dr. Suleyman. We are going to talk about analysis of donor area in FUE hair transplantation. Donor capacity and quality are very important in the success of FUE hair transplantation. We evaluate the majority of our patients' donor area from the photos they send us before coming to our clinic. However, the analysis made in clinic is much more important. During the year, we arrange some consultation visit in different countries. You can check the dates and places from our YouTube channel and other social media accounts. A fear transplantation method can be performed for any patient who has sufficient donor area. Almost all clinics, even the ones use DHI, technique performed for a technique which the micro units are taken one by one. Currently, there are some clinics that still using the FUT method, which the dense hair tissue from the donor area is cutting and removed and then cut into small pieces. A strong and healthy donor area is very important for all FUE, FUT, and DHI hair transplantation techniques. Before hair transplantation of patient, the donor area is examined with micro camera. We can see the, all the donor capacity in detail here. Our patient has a high right. Multiple ratio is very important to create density on the recipient area. There are a lot of double, triple, and single grafts. In order to create a natural look after their transplantation, single grafts should be implanted on the frontal hairline, so we need single grafts too. Our patient has sufficient density and grafts on both temporal and occipital areas. It's very important to evaluate skin type and structure of our patient. I can say that there is no problem with his skin. Skin problems are very important in FUE hair transplantation. If the patient has any skin problems, it may be necessary to start some treatment before or after hair transplantation process. During the examination, you can see some marks of previous skin problems such as dermatitis and folliculitis. You can see if the follicle is healthy or strong enough when we analyze donor area. It's important how the hair looks under the skin and how the skin holds the hair tightly. Here, the hair follicles look under the skin clearly. In order to compare with the weak hair follicle, I would like to show you a hair example for recipient area. As you see clearly, there are color change around the hair follicle and skin does not hold the hair tightly. The discoloration around the hair follicles shows that skin does not hold the hair root tightly. In addition, we cannot observe the appearance of hair follicle under the skin. In a few hair transplantation, the measurement of the donor capacity is very important, especially for limited donor areas. In fact, hair transplantation is a distribution process. Removing some grafts from the donor area and transplanting them to the recipient area. Hence, the quality of and quantity of hair in the donor area become very important. The extraction size of both lateral temporal and occipital areas can be measured to see how many hair follicles can be extracted. The number of grafts per 1 cm square of the two or three regions can be counted and then the number of graft and hair in the donor can be determined. After the counting of our patients, we have 28 grafts and 53 hairs per 1 inch. And with this date, we can reach the total number of hair with a few simple calculation. There are advanced 3D systems for this process. We will use our own system very soon, but you can also get very close results manually.
It's also important to know the hair thickness for a good hair transplant result after a few hair transplantation. The average hair thickness of three different areas can be measured with the help of micrometer. Hair thickness can vary between 3 and 7, 7 microns and of course it's possible to encounter the to value above or below this size. In addition, advanced system can be used for these measurements. I have been hair transplantation since 2009 and I really like uh, the old methods more because I can see the skin and hair follicle easily and I can touch. In order to get a successful result and create sufficient density in a few hair transplantation, the number of grafts must be planted in the recipient area per centimeter square should be determined according to hair thickness and ratio of hair grafts. If the patient has thin hair and the ratio of multiple roots is low, you need to increase the number of grafts per centimeter square. If you like to get successful results after a few hair transplantation, you must evaluate the patient's skin well and take precaution for any skin problem that may occur. We have another patient to show you as a second analysis example. It's possible to have another hair transplant operation if a patient underwent a surgery with FUET or FUE technique. As you can see here, the donor was diluted due to first operation. When we examine the donor area with a micro camera, we can see the gaps in the areas where hair follicles are extracted. In such cases, the donor should be evaluated in detail in order to leave a bad or patchy look behind. The number of hair follicles that will be extracted and the area with hair density should be determined well. It should not be re-extracted from the place where many grafts were taken in the first operation. In this case, the beard area can be used as a donor. Beard hair is usually single and thick. These grafts should be mixed with the ones from donor area and planted on vertex and mid scalp rather than frontal area. If it's possible, one beard graft and two donor area grafts must be mixed to get a natural look. Finally, the best hair transplant clinic is the one which has an experienced doctor and makes good analysis, operates actively and do and post-operation follow-up.